So in our last two videos, we made titles. Let's check those out. I'm going to actually go back to my window workspaces, editing workspace, and things are going to get a little bit simpler here. So we've done titles. Okay, let's check those out. Make sure you still have them in your Premiere project. And we've done uh, main. And all we did for main is we got stuff from uh, Premiere. And if you don't know what that is, if you're already this far and don't have that stuff in there, you're going to find that in learning. And usually in the learning workspace, there's a, uh, a panel. I don't know where it is this time. But there's usually a workspace that has uh, some content available in it. So if you need to go back and find that, just go back to import and find the stuff in sample media. And that's what we're using today. So back here in the editing workspace, what I'm going to do is I've got, looks like about 15, 20 seconds of stuff. That's cool. That's enough. We have several sequences ready to rock. So I'm going to use, we've done titles. Double check that you have your titles. We've done main, which we just looked at. We have credits. So we have all the parts needed to make this thing work. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my master sequence. This is totally easy. You're going to drop the titles in there. Now, I want a little bit of space after the titles, or I want it to bleed over into my film. So you might want to have some blank space and start your main portion here. Okay. Oops, that's kind of wasn't what I was quite expecting. I want the sequence. That's odd. It's dropping stuff in just like that. Okay, so so I've got my, my content I'm working with, and... Um, Interesting. I have some things happening not like I was expecting. It'll still work though. So I'm just going to grab all this content, move this down a little bit, and that way I can have some black space after the title. Or should you choose to do it this way, this is another thing that you might do, is you add that title over the end of your film. So let's move this over. I'm going to zoom in down here. I'm going to grab this and move it over so the title's going to show up over the top of my film. Now you'll notice that when it's over a bright white space, you can't really read it too good. So you may have to go back and edit and adjust. So back here in titles, let's choose this. Let's go back to my, uh, what we really need here is the essential graphics panel. And find the edit section and just add to this uh, some additional design. And what I want to do with that is add a, uh, here we go, select all the text. And we're going to add a stroke to the edge or a drop shadow or both. Shadow, stroke, but then change the stroke color to something that gives us some contrast value. So cruising back over here to master, now it should show up a little bit better. When it's over a big bracket length, it's a little bit better, but not quite. So let's go back to titles. Select all the stuff. I feel like I didn't have the text selected, so it might not be it. Let's go what it should. Let's uh, open this up and uh, let's change the shadow to black and uh, set this so it's all the way dark, a little bit distance away. So try those things out until it looks correct or just make sure it make sure it doesn't start, make sure your next film doesn't start until after your credits are over. So we'll work on those things as we go forward. So I've got that piece in there. So there's my sequence with all my stuff in it. And uh, this allows you to, you know, edit stuff even after you've edited your master sequence. So this has been pre-edited in main. And you could, if you take something out here, uh, does it show up in the master? I'm not really sure. So this used to work a bit differently. I'm probably a setting I need to change. But if we go to credits now, we're going to drag credits into, into place. And... Uh, now we have credits. So now I've done all the work in separate sequences. And the reason we use separate sequences is it's easier to work with those things separately than all in one place. Because if you add your titles in after you've done your editing, then you have to move stuff over and it's kind of a pain in the neck. So now I've got a full film with titles, film, and credits, and it's over. Now if you want to add some more space into your piece, you can right-click here and choose New Item. There it is. And choose some black video. And drag this into place and that way you're going to have some extra space after so it doesn't just abruptly stop it then sort of fades out so you can just make this a little bit shorter if you want to you could go back to your um, effects which is probably in the editing workspace and so if I go to effects here 
and get a transition for dissolve. Then I can dissolve that out at the end. And that fades and moves on. So that's, that's how that kind of works. And uh, when you're done, I need to see a screenshot of this part and uh, a screenshot for each, each section. Good luck with this. Uh, should give you a good start for doing titles and credits in a film.